La literatura de gestión empresarial tiene influencia en líderes de organizaciones públicas cuando tienen que enfrentar procesos de cambio organizacional. Normalmente, esta literatura estima que el éxito o fracaso de las reformas depende de las actitudes personales de personas muy concretas, los líderes, quienes deben dedicarse a convencer racionalmente a los miembros de la organización sobre las bondades del cambio, específicamente sobre la eficiencia y eficacia de lo nuevo que está por venir. Además, el líder también cultiva otra cara, otra faceta, a veces maligna, donde es concebido como un guerrero que combate a los opositores y enemigos de la reforma, incluso recurriendo a despidos. Pero, en realidad, se sabe poco científicamente sobre la adopción, implementación y sustentabilidad de las reformas que se intentan implementar. Y mucho menos cuando estas reformas incorporan prácticas basadas en evidencia. Usted recientemente participó de una publicación en conjunto con Daniel Roots y Shannon Portillo, denominada La legitimidad del cambio, adoptando, adaptando, implementando y la sustentabilidad de las reformas en las correcciones comunitarias o en las agencias de corrección comunitaria. ¿Qué nos puede decir acerca de la importancia de la legitimidad y qué acciones nos pueden ayudar a dotar de legitimidad un proceso de reforma? Um, thank you very much for involving, you know, for this question. So let me begin by basically saying that organizational change is hard. I mean, think about it. We're reforming individuals and rehabilitation is hard for one person. An organization has hundreds, sometimes a thousand, sometimes 10,000 or more people. And so we have to recognize that changing an organization is not an event, it's a process. It requires steps that one would want to go through. Um, so this requires us to really think about marrying the new ideas with the organization, including the goals and objectives and mission of that organization. Um, If we have, you know, traditional punitive goals, then imparting R and R in those traditional goals basically means that people are thinking, oh, they're not really serious about us reforming this organization. And so we really have to think about creating a new vision, a new map for people to see what their work is like and what the value of this particular approach is. Um, so, you know, I really want us to focus our attention here on something called implementation science. So the article that Dr. Rudes and Portia and I did was basically to discuss this notion that we need to have a change process that moves from idea conception to sustainment. What is sustainment? Sustainment basically means that we'll be doing this until the next new reform ideas come into being. Um, and so there's a model as part of the implementation science framework called EPIS. And the whole purpose of the EPIS model is that when you take on a change at the organizational level, you need to um, basically manage the process like you would manage any change. You want to be able to explore the new ideas. You want to be able to see how the new ideas a fit within your organizational culture. You want to be able to prepare your staff for those changes. Then you want to be able to implement with legitimacy and fairness. And then you want to be able to routinize. So what do I mean by legitimacy here? Legitimacy is basically the perception that the change is consistent with what the purpose, goals, and operations of an organization is. If we don't deal with legitimacy, then staff question whether or not the particular reform really is suitable for a punishment organization like prisons, jails, probation or parole. 
Um, and therefore, they question whether or not we really want people to understand, um, you know, uh, to, to do this work, because the preparation has not been to establish the why. Why is this needed? What do we want to accomplish here? So the stickiness, whether your new idea will stick, has a lot to do with people's perceptions that this is appropriate and acceptable within those particular environments. I should say the most change efforts sort of get stuck in, let's train our new staff on some new idea. But the training itself does not really deal with the culture of the organization or the legitimacy of the idea within that context. Um, so unless we align the goals, missions, goals, objectives, missions of an organization with the new alternative, then you have a friction or a conflict that occurs and people gravitate toward the old instead of moving towards the new. So the legitimacy issue becomes because we didn't work on the organization to figure out that we want this new approach to be the dominant approach instead of the secondary approach. So what's wrong with our training? Well, training is usually considered something in the US, we have this saying called one and done. You train me and I got it, I'm ready to go. Um, but in fact, the reality is, is that people don't learn new skills. They don't learn new knowledge one time over. Um, we have to work on a process by which we really help the staff and the agency and the administrators, and I should say the stakeholders, to really understand the why and what skills they need. The other thing we know is that if we don't really help staff obtain the skills, then what's really going to happen is they're going to gravitate to their old skills. Um, and so we really have to help people improve their professionalism, the way they interact with individuals. Um, also, you know, unless we're really working on issues related to culture change, we're not going to have that stickiness. So culture has to do with the way things are done in an organization. And when you're introducing something new, you're introducing a new way of doing things, but you have to tell people that that's what you're doing and that that's, this is how it can be accomplished. Um, so essentially our argument is here that we need to establish the legitimacy of change by helping people understand the why. Why is this needed? What is the advantage? How's this gonna make our organization a better organization? Thank you.